this comes around like every once in a while. So yeah, a lot of people are curious about how to, first of all, photograph it uh, and what they need to, to use um, for the solar eclipse. Any digital uh, camera will have a sensor that will uh, make the photo. Um, and so a lot of digital cameras, DSLRs, mirrorless cameras, even your phone, uh, you know, they all have sensors. So uh, it's really not a good idea to point them directly to uh, the sun, especially during a, a solar eclipse um, without the proper equipment. A solar filter will essentially uh, block out most of the sunlight, um, which is going to be crucial for, you know, the solar eclipse. Um, you know, it's really dangerous to look at it um, directly with your eyes, so it's going to be the same thing for your camera. Um, so you want to protect your camera and any equipment you're using uh, by using a solar filter. A tripod is going to be uh, essential because um, First of all, you'll want a steady shot, especially if you're using a telephoto lens. So if you're using something that's going to be really, really zoomed in to the, to the uh, eclipse, then it's important to keep that shot stable. So tripods are a must. Um, a lot of people will use like remotes, um, like remote triggers um, or even wireless triggers to uh, stand away from their uh, camera. Uh, so maybe they want to view it from a different view, but their camera's pointed directly at it. So uh, they can just click on a remote and they'd be able to uh, take a photograph that way.